Hi, please welcome to the part two. We are looking at Solution Architect C03 preparation, new features. Please hit subscribe and the like button. Let us look at Amazon Kendra. This is a new inclusion in the Solution Architect Associate certification exam. So what is this? This is a intelligent search service. You have seen Google. If you type something, it gives you the search results. Kendra is powered by machine learning. See, there are approximately 20 new services that has been included in this course for Solution Architect Associate. So please focus very clearly. What is Kendra used for? Intelligent search. It is something similar to Google. But now you might ask, hey, we already have Google search, Bing search, Yahoo search, so on. Why the hell we need Kendra? Suppose you want to integrate a search facility with your application, then you cannot call Google, right? You will have to build something so that it is usable in your corporate infrastructure. So that is the purpose of Kendra. You can add search capabilities to your applications. What can you search through? See, these are the different services. Amazon S3, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Amazon, RDS, databases, OneDrive. See, in SharePoint, you have a lot of PowerPoints. You want to enable search there. You can do that. You can do that through Salesforce. It has CRM data, customer relationship data. You can search through that. ServiceNow, you know, you must have seen in your projects to raise defects. You may be using Jira or ServiceNow. So if you want to search through defects or version of the code, so on. And similarly, OneDrive, you can have your documents and so on. So how can developers you know, use this? See, there is a sample code that is provided. Now, this portion that I'm explaining on this slide, this is not important for exam. But do remember, there are two ways through the GUI where no code is required, or you can write Kendra SDK and use the sample code. So basically, Kendra, you can ask a question, it will reply. What do we do with Google? We ask a question, it replies. If it clearly knows the question, for example, if you want to know the age of Warren Buffett, it will give you clearly 92. So just an example of a question that you can ask. And it will give you 92. So Warren Buffet, he is a stock market mogul. He celebrated, I think, a couple of days back, he celebrated his 92nd birthday, where Bill Gates, who is Warren's good friend, wished him, hey, does it work with unstructured data? So this is a question which nowadays everybody asks. Structured is fine. Structured means something in database like RDS, Redshift, so on. But does it work with unstructured data? The answer is yes. Now, what is unstructured? It can be in PowerPoints. It can be in Excel sheets. It can be in photographs or some contract documents and so on. Now, always remember with unstructured data, there is some additional level of processing. You will have to use Comprehend and Transcribe. These are two services which comes with AWS. And you will have to massage the documents to some extent before you can plug Kendra for search. So please refer part one for understanding what Comprehend is. Basically, it goes through a word file or some document and gives you a sentiment on that. Now, what types of questions are supported? Factoid, like who is the CEO of Apple? And you will get an answer as Tim Cook. Then descriptive, for example, how to fix a lamp, okay? So it can return, for example, how to, you know, it will give you the series of steps. And then the third one is keyword searches, okay? For example, you are searching for IT help desk or health benefits, you can search and it will give you the best possible match. Now, if your knowledge inventory, if it doesn't have precise answers, what happens? So Kendra will scan and give you the most relevant data and it, is ranked by its deep learning models what sort of questions are not supported where you know the answers requires cross document passage aggregation like one from this document one from the other document and then it has to aggregate and do some calculations that sort of questions it is not supporting 
So this is important for the certification. They might give you questions where they will test your knowledge around what sort of questions you can ask through Kendra. Now, how does Kendra work? There are three steps. You have to point to the target. For example, S3 is a, can be one of the target where your documents are stored. You can point a document which is kept in S3. You can then click ingest and then you can now search whatever is there. So if you have a range of documents there, you have ingested it in Kendra. Now you can ask questions and it will try to answer with whatever information it has in that or series of documents. So that is similar to a robo vac. That is a robotic vacuum where it you, it targets that this is where I want to go and suck the dust. It so it points to the target. It sucks it. It ingests it, and then you can search. You can open the robo vac and then search what dust particles or garbage it has collected. Now, Kendra, this is a very important topic from a certification standpoint. It supports unstructured and semi-structured data like HTML, Office, doc format, PDF, text formats, and so on. And believe me, it can also search audio, audio, and video, video files. How it does so, Kendra maintains an index whenever you suck the dust. It sucks it and maintains it in an indexed manner. Now, what happens if new information comes in? It will refresh the index for new data or incrementals. So how does the new data come in? It will have built-in connectors. You can use those to sync the data. And ETL in the background is used to bring the data in Kendra so that it can run some indexing. What languages are supported? For example, if the document is in Chinese, can it read it? If it is in Arabic, can it read it? And if it is in Tamil, Hindi, Bengali, Malayalam, can it read it? Yes, my friend, it can. There are a range of languages. It is not limited to what I am showing here on the screen. There are some more languages that it supports. So remember, from a certification standpoint, Kendra is multilingual and it has support for wide, wide, wide range of languages. So you see here, Hindi is supported, Bengali is supported. So like that, there are so many other languages, German, Korean. Nowadays, you know, if you see the young generation, they are all K-pop and K-drama generation. So they are very passionate about learning Korean. They watch Korean serials and they listen to Korean music. So do you require heavy coding? No, my friend. There is a feature where without any code, you can just use the connectors. But if you want to build new connectors, then you can write code using Kendra SDK. So if a question comes around this in the certification, remember there are built-in connectors which you can use. But if you want to spend more time and create something very, which is very cool, you can use Kendra SDK and waste your time. So if you waste your time in this manner, then only you can reach companies which are called FANG, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google. Otherwise, if you don't want to waste your time that way, you can stick to Infosys, Repro, TCS and enjoy your life. Encryption at rest in transit is supported. Kendra is highly secured. Data in Kendra is secured. In transit, the, how it, does it work? If, if anybody asks, everybody nowadays uses SSL. SSL in transit. All services will use that. So this brings us to the end of second part. Please subscribe to this channel. It helps me understand the pulse of the audience and you know YouTubers. As YouTubers, we all strive for more subscriptions. This brings us to the end of this part. I will post many more videos on more new features. See you in the next part.